author and pastor Randy Alcorn in his book, Heaven, he writes this, God has never given up on his original creation, yet somehow we've managed to overlook an entire biblical vocabulary that makes this point clear. Mm -hmm. Redeem, restore, recover, return, renew, resurrect. Each of these biblical words begins with the re prefix, suggesting a return to an original condition that was ruined or lost. God always sees us in light of what he, intends, he intended us to be, and he always seeks to restore us to that design. Likewise, he sees the earth in terms of what he intended it to be, and he seeks to ret restore it to its original design. Mm -hmm. uh, that's amazing. One important uh, theological reason that the new heavens and new earth needs to be physical is simply if God doesn't redeem or restore the physical world, then Satan wins. Exactly. Because he would have foiled God's original purpose in creating. He's ruined the creation. Okay, we're going to throw it out. But by the end of Revelation, uh, sin is gone. In addition, God gets praised because of his mercy and grace, and Jesus is glorified as the savior of the nations. Humans are, uh, are resurrected. We're, we're not just sinless in the resurrection. We're positively righteous and can never fall again. Mm. The earth must be similarly restored, or there's a huge gap in how we perceive God's redemptive work here. It just, it just doesn't fit. Absolutely, and, and compromise on Genesis creates a, a new heaven and earth problem. When, when we re, re, read of the restored creation and the new heavens and the new earth, particularly in chapters 21 and 22 of Revelation, it's absolutely clear that this is going to be analogous to what God originally did in Genesis 1. So if God's right. original design involved millions and billions of years of death and suffering, I, I mean, then what's wrong with this, this, this scenario here? What's wrong with this creation? Why destroy it and create a new one if it's going to be the same way it was before to this one? Exactly. So, so those yep. who believe that God somehow used a process of millions and billions of years of evolution have a huge inconsistency problem. Here.